last week on the season. We're going to do some community service on Belk Boulevard. One, two, three. So then I start watching the Jumbotron, and um, I'm thinking, no way. <laughs> and then I said, thank you, God, you know. I uh, realized, like, what this, this game, um, what it can provide for you and uh, the blessings it can bestow upon you. Y'all don't understand how much we appreciate, we appreciate y'all's support. Home and away. I mean, in every direction you look, as far as the eye can see, one, you got people, and two, they're all wearing red. 15, 10, 5, beat Moncrief, touchdown, Ole Miss. I'm ready for Texas, baby. Can't wait for Texas. We owe them something. Press conference. The beginning of a new week for the 2 0 Ole Miss Rebels. It seemed like since I've been here, the team just been rising. Like my first year, we won two games. You know, that was that was the bottom, that's the lowest we can get. Last year, winning seven games, you know, that's that's good. Now this year, we're shooting for even more games. So I just feel like the team is on an elevator that's going up 10 floors every year. Instead of making that one floor step, we're going up 10 floors every year. We want to try to jump to be the best as soon as we can. And now we focus on Texas and try to figure out what they got and what they run and who's playing that quarterback and you know who's the running back going to be at everything. We just can go in and try to set a good game plan up for them. Before game planning can begin, Bryant has a visit to make. Uh, Jeff Scott House is uh his dog just had some puppies, so we want to go check out this puppies. Oh yeah, ask him about uh, how he was crying when we was, when we was breeding him. He went up to his room and, and laid under the bed and all the, under all the covers and started crying. You gotta ask him about it. Young Jeff. They be trying to wipe off the tears. What's up, mama? Hey, mama. Hey, mama. You's a mama? Let's go see the puppies. I got the puppies on my uh, food time right here. See, when I woke up, I walked right past them, so mm -hmm. I really didn't see them. I told him about what I told you. Yeah, I went through the motion. I mean, I had this dog since she was, what, about, what, four or five weeks old? I'm like, this is like my daughter, seriously, and I ain't nothing. Telling them, I was like, man, I ain't having no daughters. <laughs> oh, girl. Like your granddad now, huh? He was worth it. Raleigh, Mississippi, the home of Ole Miss receiver Dante Moncrief. I mean, Raleigh's very small. I mean, um, we got one store, <laughs> no lights, nothing like that, so. I mean, it's just a population of probably about 2,000 people, maybe 1,500. Uh, everybody stay close. There's a lot of great people down there. I mean, a lot of people that you can look up to growing up because they actually been through what you went through already. Dante, as a kid, he was uh, a wild kid. Uh, he uh, got into a lot of stuff, uh, trying to hang with, the, with his big brothers. Growing up, I used to pick on me all the time because I was a baby, but I was a baby boy, so mama always believed what I said, so. They will always play basketball, uh, football, and you can hear them out there screaming, Mom, tell Dante to come in. And well, they call him Tiki. Tell Tiki to get out the middle of the court, and you know, and then so to keep the mess down, I would make all of them come in, you know, so he always had his way. Once they left, I was the only kid at home, so I had to grow up and be the man of the house when dad would just go to work and it'd just be me and mom. So that was a big thing. They always, um, they always was there for me. Um, they showed me a lot in life, showed me a lot of things that could you could do to do wrong and things to do right. So that was a big thing for me. 
When he was growing up, uh, he and my son really became good friends, and my husband um, always took us to the Ole Miss games. He's an Ole Miss graduate, very involved in football. He's a football coach, so naturally we would go to the Ole Miss games. I told Derek back when they were in junior high, I'm like, if you've got a friend you want to invite, you know, just invite them, and, and that'll be that much more fun for you. So Dante is the guy that Derek started asking. When me and Dante first started hanging out, I was probably in the fifth grade. That's when I got the name, nickname DMAC. And once that started, that everybody countywide only knew me by my nickname. And that was thanks to him. <laughs> Talking about DMAC, that's what we call him. Uh, that's one of those cases where two people become friends and, and they, just, they just hit it off. And he stayed here and my son stayed there so many times. And for a small town like that, for, between him and DMAC, they don't have a color barrier. They, they're just D-Mac and Dante. And they best of friends. I had one relationship with him basically because uh, I was his coach, but I ended up having another relationship with him because of how close he was to my son and my family. Dante calls me Mama Cindy. We've all grown up together. Um, he has a wonderful family and um, we also include him as part of our family. I can truly say that I I'm not surprised in the least by anything I see him accomplish. Coach Mack and Miss Cindy and D Mack, love them to death. Yeah, they, they're, they're good friends of ours too. Uh, and, you know, uh, we just love them as a part of our family. Game Week, Texas. The newly ranked Rebels prepare for their showdown out west. Obviously, we got a big game coming up. It's going to take everybody. It's going to take all of us. So you just got to mentally, all right, and physically get yourself prepared for a battle. It's going to be a battle. I got one thing on my mind: playing as hard as I can, going as hard as I can, playing fast, playing intense. Maybe two overtimes, all right? It may be, we gotta block a field goal to win. You understand what I'm saying? Do your job. That's all we want you to do. Do your job. Here we go. Let's break it down. Beat Texas on three. One, two, three. Beat Texas. Texas. Big momentum changer, trying to go out there and just do it, lay it on the line. This flight is double flight 201 with us, some service to Austin, Texas. This is what you sit for security passes, three tables, sit back on the upper lock position. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still the pleasure to welcome you to Austin, Texas, with a local time. It's about 3.40 p.m. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. And once again, we do thank Coach Freeze and the entire Ole Miss football team. Have some wonderful day, guys. We're trying to find a stairway right now. The elevator is too crowded, man. Got this Texas uh, resident over here. Hey, 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 hey. I still Personally, Florida, Florida football is better than Texas. Nah, no, I ain't gonna start arguing right now. But everybody know what time it is, man. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Long flight, no one can race.
Ah, the eyes of Texas. Lyrics crafted 110 years ago to now the modern focus of this tradition rich and proud program. Last year they blew them out, but this is a much different Ole Miss team now. Confident, energetic, and filled with youth that can flat out play. Some of you guys have been around this program, E-Man, DT, Jamez, Mike. Y'all been around this program when you didn't have much fun. You didn't get to play in a game like this. You didn't get to, uh, you didn't get to experience something being on the line, which adds a little pressure to you. It's a good thing. It's a real good thing. It's a real good thing that in a short amount of time, you guys that chose to come with us and you guys that were already here said, you know what, enough's enough. We're gonna get Ole Miss football back where it belongs. One thing that's missing in our society is courage. Courage for men that are willing to stand up and fight for what they want and believe in. And so tonight, do you believe enough in your teammates, the Ole Miss Rebel family, your family in this locker room right here, do you believe it enough to stand in front of these guys tonight for 60 minutes and fight your guts out? Do you believe you can do that? you got to decide for you. So now, are you willing to put all the injuries beside all the little hurts to go out there and stand them eye to eye and fight your guts out to bail the cat? Now, who can do that tonight? That's the question. Gets to the corner, the 30, the 35. Good first play for the Rebels. A great opening play, great blocking there by Laquan Treadwell. Complete right over the middle, and it's the freshman, Evan Ingram. And another first down for Ole Miss. Here's Scott, straight up the middle, late drive all the way in. Ole Miss made it look too easy. at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Rebel defense. Gobbled up and blocked hard at the 21-yard line. Malcolm Brown was just eaten up by C.J. Johnson. the end zone left corner grab by Dante Moncrief touchdown Ole Miss Moncrief just coasted in and Wallace hit him in stride and the Rebels offense is revving despite the fast start by the Rebels the Longhorn offense was about to heat up an already hot Texas night Jonathan Gray with a good burst up the middle and a Texas first down. Texas trying to cut into the Rebel 14 to nothing lead with 434 in the clock running in quarter number one. Motion, McCoy, slip screen underneath bubble screen. He's got his man Davis, takes it to the end zone easily. Blockers in front as he strolls right in. Longhorns are on the board. Ray again. 
will be first and goal, Texas. And the handoffs to Gray, sweeping left, missed tackle. He's in the end zone, touchdown, and Texas comes roaring back in this one as the Rebels are unable to hold. Texas, after giving up 14, has scored 16 unanswered with a PAT. Pendant fakes to Scott, wants to throw. The ball pops out of his hands. It's loose on the ground, and Texas has recovered. There's a snap back and down. The kick is on its way. He has the distance, and it's good. Texas 20, Ole Miss 14. The Rebels have got to get this offense back going, David. Struck the 14 quick points and kind of been in neutral ever since. There's a kick. Plenty of leg. Is it on target? It is good. So a 20. Three to 14 score is what we have now. Let's go, man, you We're too hard for this now. You are too hard. Don't get in the drive and start looking your way out. Step up and complete. After 23 unanswered points by the Longhorns, the Rebels fought their way to a score before the half. A 52-yard effort for Ritter to try to cut into the Texas lead. And there is the kick, and it's a line drive kick, and it is good! good. What a drive what a by great. Andrew Ritter! 52-yard field goal, and that helps the Rebel cause to make it 23 to 17. And that certainly helps the momentum swing, David, going into this uh, locker room to end the first half, but what a great kick. It can't be talk. You got to execute. That's right. We're running simple stuff and execute and burn your eyes on your side. Does that make sense? So if the end does decide to go wide, that quarterback's got to lane. Okay, so we got to do a great job with that. Okay, we got to do a great job. That's one thing I know we got to do a better job of. The swarm the football. When the balls run, when the balls pass, wherever, we got to get 11 right. tries to the football. Got to get it out. Can't count. Well, he's going to make the tackle. Because we're getting one guy there and they're falling forward for yards on that stuff. And they get the edge of the defense. Hear me good. Listen up. <laughs> What we say, you knew that it was not going to be easy coming in here. Yes, sir. But you cannot win or lose the game in first half. Yes, and we've been here before. Yes, so now, relax, love each other, play your guts out, and we're going to win. All right? Defense going to get us the ball back right now. We'll get the lead. We'll take their confidence. You got to go get it, though. You got to go go bring me the ball, Woody. Bring me the ball. Bring me the ball. All right? Let's go have some fun. 60 minutes, baby. The game wears on. We get stronger. That's who we are. We always finish. You're in great shape. Believe it. Play with confidence. Land Shark defense came out of the locker room on a mission, paving the way for the Ole Miss offense to take the lead back. He makes it, keeps it straight ahead. He's to the 10, breaks a tackle. He's to the 5, spins in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss! Great run, great read by Bo Wallace, but that's a great fake, and Bo was just masterful right there. He read it perfectly. Rebels, pinning this extra point, could go up by a point. over the middle, wide open, caught at the five, hit the end zone, touchdown Ole Miss, and that will be the freshman tight end, Evan Ingram, right over the middle, hit him on a post route for the score, and the Rebels going 30 to 23. Starts on the near side, Zeiss has a man to the 35, gets around another one to the 40, still on his feet, breaks a tackle, he's trying to head to the far sidelines, to the 45, he's got the sidelines to the 50, he's got blockers, he's on the 35, the 30, he's to the 20, carry him into the end zone, boys! <laughs> Touchdown, <laughs> Ole Miss! What can we say? How about another wow? Jeff Scott, unbelievable. Give me a bandy in 75. He just did it on the Longhorns, except from a different position.
snap, handoff, sweeping to the left. It's Jalen Walton. He's got the end zone! Touchdown! Oh man! Great block. He gives the interior, David, and able to get out on the corner. It's been working all night long. That read option's getting outside. before half. And then obviously, man, your defense just lined up and played. Oh. 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 Coach Jackson, how many minutes do we play? 60 minutes. Came in here, we saddled up, we rolled the Longhorns, and we going home with a W, baby. Challenge. Three and no this year, man. Revelation, we coming, baby. Three and on the watch. I'm telling you.